Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. <laughs> Help me <laughs> at nurmuhammad.com. Please email, keep in touch, ask uh, questions, concerns that you have, and then the group will get back and, and reply and, and give uh, comments and whatever is necessary, inshaAllah. Keep the flow of comments flowing, keep the connection. Be careful in these days of confusion that not to bounce around, not to go around internet making every shop available at your finger. As soon as you start clicking around and going around you're going to have difficulty within your heart. Uh, each shaykh has a coordinates on how to guide. Some are guides, some just talk. Those whom been given guidance then like a degree that they have very specific coordinates, very specific ability in which to guide people. And they went through training, they went through all their difficulties, not the same as people who just inherit something. Go in, pick up the jacket that you want, come sit down and start talking, that's different. The one whom had to go through the difficulty of training, the years of training, through all the levels of testing and purification until Allah certified, Prophet certified and the Ulul Am certified. With that certification their guidance has a coordinates for each person whom Allah inspire to come. And that's why it's important to release this information that we are looking for all sinners. We are looking for all those whom coming against what Allah wanted and desired for them. Not the people who walk on water but those whom are having a difficulty within this dunya. And tariqah is supposed to be an oasis for them. Tariqah is supposed to be a place in which they come to learn, to understand, to teach and learn noble characteristics. The most noble of them is loyalty, to be loyal to your belief, loyal to your practices so that to achieve that reality and that dress. By bouncing around and listening to 500 different people and someone asking just by email that, can I go here to zikr, can I go there for zikr, can I sit with this one for zikr, can I li listen to this talk for zikr. You can do whatever you want but if you feel that you're connected with a particular shaykh then you have to make sure that your loyalty is very firm with that shaykh that your donation is towards that shaykh, your learning towards that shaykh, your studenthood, your development towards that shaykh. So that as much as you're putting into it, you're getting out of it a thousand times more. Because you're committed, by your commitment you are trying to tie your hand to the hand. And by that commitment you feel within your heart that the nazar of the shaykh is upon me. And that I feel that fires, I feel the emanation, I feel the knowledges, I'm being fed. Imam Ali said, if you come across one of these alims or awliya and he teach you just one letter you owe your life to him. Just say, Ba, forget about the 10,000 realities of Ba, if it, you're being fed then it's only the nafs that want to click around and go around and have alternatives. And it doesn't matter how long you're in it, you could be 25 years into something and you want to now cover your bases and click everywhere, you'll get nowhere. The hard test is to sense you're going to be burned. Hard test is that the, the, there's a difficulty coming. And your faith is to hold on like fire. 
Are you willing to walk through the fire and through the difficulty? Not when things get difficult you pick up and run and go in different directions and hold on to five ropes instead of one rope. Means everything is based on loyalty, everything is based on holding firm. Because we said before in other talks it's like you're on a rope and there's too many people on this rope and Allah begin to wave it into the air and a wind comes and they're whipping this rope back and forth, back and forth to see who's holding on. Hold tight Allah described, why hold tight? If it was so easy he would just say, you know put your finger on the rope and everybody will join in, open all our fingers. <laughs> Allah is saying, hold tight, hold firm, don't separate. And in another ayatul kareem, what did we have? Istiqamu fi tariqat, keep your firmness on the path. And we define the path is your relationship with that shaykh. You don't have to worry about who's your daddy, who's my shaykh, this shaykh is that shaykh, that one shaykh is my shaykh. The one that you're interacting every day with, who washes your laundry, who feeding you through those knowledges, who when you have a difficulty you reach out to him, that's your shaykh. That shaykh is responsible for you, to guide you, to teach you to pray that you be protected and through this difficulty subhanAllah not one person affected. So means that Allah rida and satisfied, tomorrow I don't know. <laughs> you say it like that, three people say, oh I got shiks, I don't know. I don't know what you did wrong but today <laughs> Like a Donald Trump thing. Today everything's great. <laughs> yeah, tariqah is not easy. Tariqah is not social media. Social media will bring all the badness of character magnified by a million and publicized to the whole world. Ya Latif, whatever we did wrong in the past it was hidden. Allah qafur raheem, nobody knows it's hidden between the servant and creator's something forgiven. Social media its design was to bring it out and put it in public because who was behind the development of these softwares? They wanted to know about everybody's movement and life and actions and likes. They couldn't have made a better database on all of humanity than through these softwares. They know what you like, what you don't like. Every action and son does now is an open book. Where they click everyone knows where they're clicking because as soon as you click and your friend they're notified, you just like that. You just did this, you did that, you publicize every action. So times are becoming million times more difficult, much more dangerous. Based on that danger is then our salvation or destruction. So means this shield of loyalty, love and respect, it develops a bond that becomes an energy in which to repel every type of difficulty. So that's why I said before when, when the caravans would roll into the deserts to establish nations and countries and cities and states, as soon as they came under attack the four or five carriages they would begin to circle. When they travel they travel like that, when attack comes they start circling, why? Because when you're like a radif like this. Oh they shoot you here, they shoot you there, they shoot you there, the whole group one by one dunk, 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 like the game at the carnival. As soon as you start going around a circle it creates a shield of protection and they would put all the families into the center and they begin to move fast around the circle. It was more difficult to hit and more secure for what was being protected. 
Mm. You don't go off on your own and start doing your own thing. So Allah make little tribes everywhere and every type of difficulty and test comes to that tribe they have to circle, they circle around their belief, they circle around their practices, they keep busy with their practices as a ni'mat. So everything that the shaykh is asking for people to do that be of service, do this, do that, do this, it keeps you grounded, keeps you focused, keeps your attention on who you should be keeping your attention on. Without anything you're just like drifting out into space and you don't know what you're focusing on or who you're supposed to be focusing on. So they have a system. If you work it and you understand its adab and its understandings, it should work. Its energy and realities will blossom within the heart of insan. So then it's important to email that email, help me at nurmuhammad.com, write your concerns, write your happiness, write the experience that you had, the zikr was great, the Ramadan was fantastic, encourage the team that reading all these who are putting together the show, putting together the broadcast, putting together the app, putting together the services and programs, all of them they have an excitement and encouragement and creates a, a community bond that I'm not just somebody in my living room and nobody even knows I exist. That's your fault. It's just the email away that you can now exist, email the shaykh and immediately you got his attention. He's hyper alert to everything. So alert that as you email he'll understand your intention and go through the email into your heart. Of what Allah gave is something unimaginable each to their darajat and what they can talk about from what their understanding is. You take one step Allah is coming 99 steps into you to grab you and to lock you. You took the step of humility to ask, to be guided, to be helped. Then they begin to teach you, now build this relationship in which you feel that this is a shaykh, this is my shaykh, this is where I'm going to learn, this is where I'm going to get my guidance, this is where I'm going to make the decisions. And don't worry about the questions being bad, we'll tell you that was a bad question. You're not shy, there's no shyness in religion. They'll tell you, mm, maybe not the right choice of a question, you should ask this. And questioning and tariqah and the adab of questioning is Imam Ali taught that question to gain knowledge but don't question to challenge. It's not a question. When you challenge somebody you're trying to debate or fight them. And tariqah, Sufis there's no fight, you just get banned. But to question is, I just need to understand this reality more, can, you, can it be explained more this understanding? I'm having hard time understanding breathing, madad, the reality of madad, no problem. So alhamdulillah that Allah made us all to be in need, there's nobody perfect. We are seeking a path of perfection. And all those whom are imperfect they should find their desire to come towards this ni'mat and this blessings of Allah and distancing yourself from that blessings is an immense sadness that God has given this immense grace and that people feel distant and lonely and isolated from it. And that Prophet ﷺ's rahmah and mercy is dressing upon those associations, make one step and begin the nazar and that rahmah to begin to flow within the hearts of people in which they feel, they feel the connection, they feel that the love for Sayyidina Muhammad is growing day by day, day by day. InshaAllah Allah dress us, bless us and forgive us inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.